right now, more police and emergency workers are disciplined for their involvement in the brutal arrest of Tyree Nichols. Also, President Biden plans to lift the COVID-19 national and public health emergencies, which benefits will be disappearing along with them. This is News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Hain. Bitterly cold temperatures continue to linger in most of Wisconsin with below zero wind chills adding to the cold. Let's head out to the weather patio. Meteorologist Kelly Slifka bundled up. Look at your first warm weather. You know, I am so bundled up here, Mark, that I forgot the clicker. So anyway, it is bitterly cold out here. The uh, winds uh, still up at around 10 miles per hour. So uh, definitely bundle up. If you're out of the wind like I am, I'm pretty protected here on the patio. It isn't too bad. Uh, the sun is definitely helping things out a little bit. Uh, but it looks like the wind chill values throughout the afternoon are going to remain below zero. Uh, so we do continue with the alert day today. Uh, this evening is still very cold, but it looks like we do have some uh, warmer weather headed away already by tomorrow morning. And that will continue into uh, Thursday as well. But yet, there is another Arctic blast on Friday, and we'll have uh, some of those uh, temperatures for you coming up in just a bit. All right, your clicker's in here nice and warm. I know, somewhere. <laughs> Might be my coat somewhere. No, it's, on I don't your, know. it's on your desk over here. Okay. All right, Kelly, we'll see you in a, in a little bit. Stay up to date on the weather with our first worn forecast weather app. It has hourly forecasts, road conditions, and the latest radar. You can download it for free in your phone's app store. Just search WISC Weather. The man involved in the 2021 State Street shooting is back in court today. Katorin Richardson faces multiple felony charges for his role in the October 2021 incident that led to a Madison police officer getting shot. The criminal complaint says Richardson pointed a handgun at an officer and another officer tried to wrestle it away. During the struggle, the gun went off and struck the, uh, the other officer in the who was treated for a wound to the hip. Richardson has pleaded not guilty to the charges. The city of Memphis is now disciplined, disciplined or fired 10 police and emergency workers at the scene where Tyree Nichols was brutally beaten earlier this month. That includes the five former officers charged with second degree murder. Elise Preston is in Memphis where even the youngest residents are feeling the impact. Demonstrators in Memphis continue to call for police reform Monday. As Memphis police announced that two more officers had been relieved of their duties pending an investigation. Hey, I'm not gonna do anything. An attorney for one of the officers, Preston Hemphill, confirmed his client wore the body camera seen in this footage. During the initial traffic stop, Hemphill is captured pulling Nichols from his car and attempting to taser him. After Nichols ran away, Hemphill could be heard saying this. I hope to stomp his ass. Hemphill's attorney says his client was not present at the second scene where the beating took place. He has not been charged with the crime. The Memphis Fire Department also announced yesterday it fired two EMTs and a lieutenant who arrived on the scene after the beating for allegedly not administering adequate care for nearly seven minutes. We pray for healing in the Monday night, mourners gathered at a vigil for Nichols at the same spot where he was beaten. The 29-year-old was a father to a four-year-old son. What can you do when you experience trauma or when you have difficult emotions? Administrators at the Balmoral Ridgeway Elementary School in Memphis are trying to help students process their community's grief. They're not sure of what those feelings are, so it's important to put a name to it so that they can understand what this is that they're seeing and how it's making them feel. I want you all to take out a sheet of paper and a pencil. The school's counselor, Titantia White, had students write about their dreams for a better Memphis. It's sad. We can't trust cops. They're supposed to save us, not hurt us. I think there should be less violence in the city of Memphis. One thing we need is more positivity. To hear some of the pain that were in some of those letters, that tells you that we have work to do. We have healing to do throughout the city. As Memphis continues to mourn, the Biden administration announced it will send four officials to Tyree Nichols' funeral tomorrow. Meanwhile, the Shelby County District Attorney says additional charges could be forthcoming in the future. Elise Preston, CBS News, Memphis, Tennessee. And a public funeral for Nichols is being held tomorrow with the Reverend Al Sharpton delivering the eulogy. 
President Biden plans to lift the COVID-19 national and public health emergencies this spring. And that will mean the end of certain benefits tied to the pandemic. Americans will have to start paying out of pocket or use their health care coverage for COVID-19 testing, treatment and vaccines. It will all depend on a person's health care coverage and whether that it's Medicare, Medicaid or private insurance. The White House says the end of the emergency declarations will be May 11th. Monkeypox is almost gone from the United States. The federal government's public health emergency declaration for the virus ended today. The virus isn't completely gone, but for over a month, the average number of daily new cases reported to the CDC has hovered in the single digits. Those numbers have plummeted since the August peak of about 450 cases a day. Actress Cindy Williams, best known for her role as Shirley Feeney in the sitcom Laverne and Shirley, has died. In a statement, her family said Williams died last Wednesday after a brief illness. Laverne and Shirley ran for eight seasons in the 70s and 80s and was one of the most popular shows on television in, in its prime. Before that, Williams starred in several feature films, including American Graffiti and The Conversation. Williams leaves behind a son, a daughter, and one goddaughter. She was 75 years old. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. An important meat recall to tell you about. And Paramount Plus is partnering with another streaming service. Details coming up in the Money Watch Report. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. Habitat for Humanity of Dane County continues to help hardworking families attain home ownership. Habitat's financial coaching prepares families to buy and mortgage their own home, creating a brighter economic future for themselves and the community. Please donate or volunteer today. Do you feel stuck living in a cold and drafty home? Well, there's a better solution than just turning up the heat. Because heating your home is by far the most expensive part of your energy bills. At USA Insulation, we fix cold homes. Most houses are built with builder's grade insulation. So when we fill your walls with our high efficiency foam, your house stays warm without turning up the heat, which saves you a lot of money. So call now and save up to 30% with the brand new energy credit. USA Insulation. Do you suffer from chronic or severe back or neck pain? Did you know that there is now a treatment method available right Right here at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center that offers hope of avoiding spinal surgery for those suffering with bulging, herniated, or degenerative discs. Our therapies help reduce pain related to these conditions and have a high success rate in helping people just like you avoid back or neck surgery. I have experienced low back pain for over 15 years. I had back surgery when I was 26 and had difficulties recovering. The doctors at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center have given me a new lease on life. I am now able to enjoy an active, pain-free lifestyle. Call Midwest Spine and Nerve Center now to schedule a no-obligation consultation to see if our progressive pain-relieving therapies are right for you. and you might know me from reality TV. And this was my stubborn body fat that I just couldn't get rid of. But then I went to Sonobello and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. It is so intensely gratifying for one visit to make this big of a change. It's amazing. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. It feels incredible to look down and it's flat. Thank you again, Sonobello. I'm so happy. Schedule your free, no-obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-800-595-1532 or go to sonobello.com.
Major insurers Progressive and State Farm have stopped providing new policies for certain Hyundai and Kia models. It comes after the Highway Loss Data Institute found that theft claims for the 2015 to 2019 Hyundai and Kia vehicles were almost twice as high as compared with all other automakers. The reason for the higher theft claims is a lack of electronic immobilizers in some Hyundai and Kia models that would otherwise prevent thieves from breaking in and bypassing the ignition. An important consumer alert, the Rhode Island-based sausage company Danielle International is recalling nearly 53,000 pounds of ready-to-eat products because they may be contaminated with listeria. The recalled meats sold nationwide include salami and pepperoni sold under several brand names as charcuterie platters. So far, no one has reported getting sick. And streaming service Paramount Plus is integrating Showtime into its linear and streaming platforms. The Showtime streaming service will no longer be available and instead will be rebranded as Paramount Plus with Showtime in the United States. The new joint streaming platform starts at $11.99 a month. CBS News is part of the Paramount family. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Dan Lieberman. Checking Wall Street at the noon hour, the Dow Industrials up 153 points, the NASDAQ up 117, the S&P 500 up 28. State municipalities received over $131 million in transportation aid for first, the first quarter of 2023. Wisconsin's DOT is set to give out over $526 million to communities over the course of the year to pay for road construction, maintenance, and operation. Municipalities will be given quarterly payments on the first month, first Monday of January, April, July, and October. Governor Tony Evers says there's more work to be done to ensure municipalities have the support and resources they need to keep fixing the roads. The International Monetary Fund says there will be a slight slowdown in global growth this year. It's expected to drop from 3.4% to 2.9%. The IMF says China and India will provide the biggest boost for worldwide growth, while the U.S. rate of development is expected to be 1.4%. This is the first time in quite a while that we've had sort of good news in that in that sense. This is not recession territory. I mean, actually, the labor market is doing very, very strongly right now. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is scheduled to meet with President Joe Biden tomorrow to address the U.S. reaching its $31.4 trillion debt limit. This comes after two dozen Senate Republicans sent a letter to Biden saying they won't back a debt ceiling increase without at least equal spending reductions imposed. Well, next at noon, Pam has today's egg prices and Kelly has your latest forecast. And then today on Live Before, Consumer Reports tells us which frozen pizzas live up to pizza parlor standards. That's today at 4. Do you have a coffee smile? Drinking coffee causes yellow teeth for thousands of people just like you. And whitening toothpaste just doesn't make those stains go away. Introducing Power Swabs, the first teeth whitening system that lifts coffee stains off your teeth in less than five minutes without whitening strips or trays. The Power Swabs were so easy to use. I don't have to have strips sitting on my face for an hour. I don't have to have a foam tray where I feel like I'm gonna gag or I'm gonna go play football. I've tried like every over-the-counter whitening because you know I'm one of those people that I'm like obsessed with white teeth. So with the strips I've used in the past, most of them are like you gotta leave it on for 30 minutes and the whole experience is just not comfortable. But with power swabs, I just snapped it open and rubbed it on and it was good to go. This didn't sting, it didn't burn, it didn't have an aftertaste. It was just a swab <laughs> and I just got a rubbed around my teeth, and that was it. The Secret is a tooth detergent and whitening agent developed by Dr. Martin Ginnaker that lifts stains off of your teeth. Power Swabs remove stains on natural teeth, veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. The best part is you just swab your teeth for five minutes and you'll have whiter teeth. No more sitting at home with a whitening strip or tray in your mouth for 30 minutes twice a day. When I used these whitening strips, I noticed when I would drink, I would get this crazy sensitivity. It would go right to my brain and I'm like, ah, I hate this. So why do I have to go through the monstrosity of 
this pain just because I want to whiten my teeth. With power swabs, there was zero sensitivity. Within the first day with the power swab, I noticed there was a difference. I really love the fact that you're able to go individually on each tooth and make sure that it's going to be wider. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. Whiten your teeth this new year by ordering power swabs and receive up to 50% off the regular price. Yes, 50% off the regular price. Shipping is free, plus you'll receive a free quick stick pen. Visit powerswabs.com or call the number on your screen. On the Jennifer Hudson Show, I'm having a moment with Tia Mori. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then, let us see performs. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. Kick off the weekend with belly warming soup and get a one of a kind bowl to take home. Tomorrow we check out the menu at Habitat for Humanity's Super Bowl fundraiser. And just see how much warmer we can expect for tomorrow. Join us in the morning between 4.30 and 7. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Let's check in now with Pam Yaki from the Midwest Farm Report on this Tuesday. It's Tuesday, right? Frigid. Yeah, frigid, frigid Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, they're still doing a little cleanup uh, around the farm, and I've been, even noticed people in town a little concerned about that snow load that might be up on their roof. Now, listen, I've seen all kinds of contraptions that folks are trying to use from uh, front-end loaders of a, of a tractor or a skiddy trying to lift people up with shovels to get that snow off. Just please be careful. That is a slippery surface. Don't get up on the roof. Uh, try to use good common sense and make sure that somebody's with you if you decide that you need to take that snow snow load off you know that's one thing about wisconsin barns and buildings uh, we really don't have building codes that dictate how strong those trusses or any of that infrastructure has to be so every barn every machine shed every heifer shed can be a little bit different so definitely do monitor it but like i said if you decide you're going to take that into your uh hands as far as removal is concerned just please 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 think safety first well we're happy to welcome some new leadership at the on the dairy innovation hub now remember dairy innovation hub is a really unique idea that started in the state of Wisconsin. It is funded in part by $7.8 million of state investments every year to try to continue to make Wisconsin a world-class industry-leading dairy producer. It's not just about milk. We, it's not about making more milk. It's about coming up with great ideas on how to use what we are already producing. And that can be pharmaceutical coatings. That can be inks. That can be 3D uh, production. It's amazing the ideas we're coming up with. Now they've selected Dave Daniels, a dairy farmer from Union Grove at Mighty Grand Dairy. He'll take over as the new uh, council chair. Uh, he replaces or allows Mitch Brunig from <laughs> Sauk City to take a little bit of a break and get back to his own dairy. Mitch also stays on the board, but Dave Daniels from Mighty Grand Dairy and Union Grove, the new leader of that uh, dairy innovation hub. Dairy markets today, not a lot of action. The barrel cheese on a frigid Tuesday unchanged at 158. 40 pound block cheese down a penny at 187. Double A butter dropped four and three quarter cents today. 230 and a half per pound. So yeah, uh, I love watching social media between people trying to take snow off of some of their buildings and uh, the irritation farmers are expressing that tractors that were plugged in their block heaters were plugged in overnight and still not starting today tells you just how how nasty this weather is on yeah. the farm fortunately the snow is pretty light yeah, well, you know, that's just it. I'm, I'm not too excited about people trying to pull it off, but I understand the anxiety if your shed's a little on the older side or weaker side. Yeah, that's what, keep an eye on things. All right, Ben, thank you. Stay warm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. An artist who began losing his sight as a child has found a unique way to showcase his talent. Ian Lee shows us how he's using Braille to break down barriers. Clark Reynolds knows his way around an art gallery, but this is the first time the blind artist is displaying his own work. Dots for people with low vision. His Power of Touch exhibit in London features a color-coded braille system using raised dots that visitors touch to decode messages. Being able to touch it is really nice because you're so used to going to galleries and it's like, don't touch anything. But it's not just for those of vision impairment, it's for everybody, sighted, unsighted. Oh, I'm in red, yeah. Reynolds was just six years old when he lost sight in his right eye. And over the years, he lost the rest. When I learned Braille uh, three years ago, it was like, how can I make it accessible for everyone? 
He's hoping to bring Braille into school curriculums and change perceptions of art while breaking down stereotypes about the visually impaired. There, there's obviously many uh, blind artists you know, in the world, um, but of course, how many of those are being able to, to be given a voice and to be recognized um, as a standalone artist? For the viewer to step into my shoes, please look. Reynolds encourages art lovers to try on special glasses to see what it's like to struggle with sight. Identified by touch. Proving in some cases, art is in the hand of the beholder. Ian Lee, CBS News, London. The 41-year-old artist says he one day hopes to be as famous as Picasso with his Braille creations. Let's head out to the weather patio. Meteorologist Kelly Slifka, you got your clicker? I do have my Good. clicker. I, I kind of glued it to my hand here, so it's not going to come out. Uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely a cold uh, noon hour here in the uh, backyard. Of course, you're going to have to bundle up. Uh, I'm sure a lot of folks maybe uh, lost some things with all the scarves and mittens and hats that were, people were uh, looking to find this morning because we still continue with our alert day because of these cold wind chills still throughout the afternoon below zero, and by this evening, it could be 10 to 15 below zero. Now, the winds aren't bad that strong, but it's just so cold that it doesn't take much wind to really create a cold wind chill. So you definitely need to bundle up all of uh, southern Wisconsin in this weather alert. All right, uh, the low temperature this morning in Madison did get down to 11 below, but look at these uh, some of these numbers coming up from northern Wisconsin. Lady Smith, 22 below. Rhinelander, 24 below. And Eau Claire got down to a 19 below zero. Actually, Wisconsin saw some of the coldest overnight lows this morning. Uh, right now, across the area, we're still in the uh, single numbers. Uh, five degrees currently in Madison, and uh, some numbers even a little bit colder than that. Across Dane County, Temperatures generally pretty uniform, five, six degrees at the uh, noon hour. So it's not really just the temperature, but just that light enough wind that is creating a little bit of a chill. Winds, once again, five, six, seven, eight miles per hour. They might get up there 10 to 12 miles per hour going into the afternoon. They're coming out of the southwest, but our wind chill values still below zero, six below currently here in uh, Madison. And that's pretty common, a little bit colder where there's a little bit more of a wind up toward La Crosse. So we have high pressure basically and control over weather and really much of the upper Mississippi Valley and the Great Lakes seeing this cold air. The good news is there's some warmer air working in from the south and west and that should displace some of this colder air uh, going forward. But still very cold this afternoon. Even with that sunshine, you'll need the sunglasses. It's pretty deceiving, especially if you are in any of that wind and out for any duration. Uh, by tomorrow, we should see temperatures moderate quite a bit. We'll be in the 20s tomorrow and also Thursday. So if you want to take advantage of this snow, it's beautiful, fluffy snow. You'll probably want to do that tomorrow or Thursday because we got another Arctic air mass headed our way uh, going into a Friday, at least briefly. So take a look at our sunshine today. Temperatures only in the lower teens and this evening will drop pretty quickly uh, as we will see clear skies for the most part overnight tonight. And actually, we'll probably see our lows occur right around midnight or so. And then temperatures just slowly uh, hold steady, if not slowly rise toward the morning hours tomorrow. So that cold, barely cold air that we have in place now is going to return tree to the north at least temporarily for tomorrow going into Thursday. One last blast before we start to see some moderating temperatures and actually going above normal looks like going into the upcoming weekend. So a cold day today with the alert day 20s return tomorrow and also Thursday. Looks like Friday will be another cold day but we rebound pretty quickly this weekend and maybe a little bit of flurry activity Saturday night into Sunday and maybe talking about some rain or snow early next week. Pretty quiet overall, though. Yeah, this week, actually, we're, I guess with the cold there, we're getting the sunshine. <laughs> sunshine helps a little bit. Sure does. Thanks, Kelly. Mm -hmm. A very close call caught on camera. A boulder crashed through a home in Honolulu Sunday night, nearly hitting a woman. The boulder, about five feet in height and width, crashed through a cinder block wall, living room, then through another wall and ended up in a bedroom. None of the four people inside were hurt. In addition to the house, a car was damaged. The family says they moved into the home just this month. It's not clear what caused the boulder to roll, but the incident followed days of heavy rain. That'll wake you up. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. I'm next. We'll see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Want the taste of summer smack dab in the middle of winter? By the time you grab your flip-flops, I'll show you how you can get it. Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. 
Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. With reliable COVID-19 results in just 15 minutes, everyone is making room for Binax now in their medicine cabinet. Do we still need these pregnancy tests? Yeah, no. Out with the old, in with the number one COVID-19 self-test in the U.S. With the same technology doctors use to test for COVID-19. Binax now. Are you sick of the areas of your home being cold in the winter or hot in the summer? Your house is a complete system of components that need to work together, similar to the human body. Just like us, your home needs to breathe too. If we're letting our home breathe fresh air, we'll be healthier and regulate our temperature better. Wouldn't it be great if we could show you all the areas needing improvement in just minutes without tearing the house apart? That is what our thermal imaging does for you. It will show the temperature differences in areas of air exchange. Then you'll know what areas need to be improved. Just like going to the doctor, except these doctors do house calls. This will also help in preventing the entrance of harmful pollutants inside your house. You can now easily bring down the energy bills and have a durable and safe home environment with Fry Construction. Visit FryConstruction.com today for your free thermal imaging consultation and save 23% on select insulation services. The biggest and best RV event in the Midwest is back. It's the Madison Camper and RV Show and Sale. See a huge selection of RVs, camping equipment, and campgrounds all under one roof. Meet Gilbert Brown, Gridiron Great. Tickets are just $10 and kids are free. Seniors, you're welcome at half price on Friday. Experience the great outdoors at the Alliant Energy Center Friday through Sunday, February 3rd, 4th, and 5th. As the Chief Buffet Officer here at Pizza Ranch, it's my job to make sure we have the best buffet in the U.S. of A. Impeccable. New record! Wobbler. I'm on it. I don't do it for the glory. I do it for the buffet. More icing. Pizza Ranch, everyone's favorite buffet. Mmm, creamy. Brain freeze! Wouldn't it be nice to get away to the beach for a little R&R &R right about now? Of course it would, and with that would come lots of great food. Well, maybe we can't get to the beach, but the dish we're whipping up today will certainly make us feel like we're there, and it comes together in no time. We saute some chopped garlic and a bit of olive oil till it's golden. Just make sure you keep an eye on it, cause you can go from golden to burnt in no time. Now we add in a couple cans of chopped clams, yep, with the juice and all, a bit more clam juice, some chopped parsley, and a few seasonings that we have right in our pantry. While that simmers, we cook up a pound of linguine, and after we drain it, we top it with the clam sauce, and dinner is ready. And if you really want to go to town, how about steaming a few fresh clams to top this off with to make it even more beach-worthy? Either way, when you serve up steaming bowls of this, topped with some grated Parmesan cheese, get ready for the taste of summer. So what do you say you grab your flip-flops, a straw hat, and the recipe for our seashore linguine so you can have a midwinter getaway without leaving the house? I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a summery way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Kelly's back with a non-summary forecast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not uh, not today, that's for sure. We'll have to wait a while, but we do have a lot of sunshine in our forecast today. It's just a very cold, deceiving five degrees right now in Madison, five in Lone Rock, seven in Janesville. Windshield values remain below zero. They will remain below zero right through the evening and overnight tonight. Does warm up tomorrow. Looks uh, pretty nice for a Wednesday and Thursday, mid-20s. Another Arctic blast, at least briefly Friday before warming up this weekend. And temperatures in the upper 20s Saturday. Could be talking about upper 30s Sunday. Maybe a little bit of a mix on Monday, but you can see temperatures remain above average into early and middle parts of next week. All right, thank you, Kelly. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you back here at 4 o'clock. Bundle up.